everybody and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do today a Christmassy video because it's December now and it's that time of the year where we can all start getting jolly and festive and everything and I wanted to get on the bandwagon because I haven't done a Christmas video yet. I am in my living room and my tree is behind me. It's my main tree of my house and it's all traditional and lovely so I thought it was perfect to film with that in the background to show you what it looks like in our house at the moment. We are pretty much Christmas obsessed. So this video is going to be my Christmas essentials, so things that I like to have around me during the festive season, be that makeup or be that food or books or just general kind of other things. So I hope you like this and it makes you feel in the festive spirit if you're not already and let's get on with the video. So my first essential for Christmas would have to be some festive bedding. I think if you're not a fan of having Christmas trees in your room and you like to keep it quite simple but you still want to have a bit of the festive spirit in your bedroom then bedding is a great way to go. This is a set I got from Primark. It's grey and it's got little polar bears on it with Christmas jumpers on it in blue and red and it's brushed cotton so it's really soft and I believe it was £18 and I've also got some other bedding that I got from Asda at the moment on my bed at the moment but I think this is great for just something a little bit different and Primark have got some really good festive bedding at the moment actually you should go and check it out and Asda as well so my first essential definitely would have to be festive bedding so I think we can all safely say that we all own at least one Christmas jumper oh yeah don't lie I know you've all got one lurking in your wardrobe somewhere so this is mine, it is an M&S one and it is cream and it's got a little robin on it with a little red festive hat on it and he's sitting on some holly and this is one of the ones I've got, I got it last year and it's so soft and fleecy and I've also got one at the moment that I'm wearing and it's from Primark, this one I've got at the moment and it is the snowman and the snow dog and I love it. So I mean I just think festive jumpers are great if you're having a casual day in or you're going shopping and you want to be festive or for Christmas day even and you want to be a bit festive but you want to be comfy. Christmas jumpers, they're just great, they're a great way to go and you don't even have to spend a fortune. Primark do some amazing ones, as do Peacocks, you can get them on, off ASOS, they've got some really good ones at the moment and you can always just get one and keep it and you can wear it year in year out and festive jumpers are just the best. They make you feel so much better about life in general. Another Christmas essential of mine would have to be some Christmassy shoes. These are a new purple actually, these are the Brogue Paintant shoes from Topshop and their little red boots. They are really, really adorable. I got them in the Black Friday sale actually, they were £38 and I got them for £18 because they were reduced. But they are just a lovely cherry red colour and I think they'll look great for Christmas. And just such a festive colour to wear, I mean I can just imagine if it snows, I am so going to go out in the snow and get a picture of my boots, me wearing these boots in the snow like oh my god so Pinterest. But I just, I love them and they're really comfy and I just think they look great for Christmas. And they're still available at the moment actually, I'll link them in the description box. But I did get them for cheaper because I got them in the Black Friday sales. Now Christmas is the time where we do start eating a lot more and we do get a little bit naughty with what we put in our mouths. So we might not be as healthy as we'd like to be but hey ho, it's only once a year. My personal favourite things to eat around Christmas time are cheeselets and matchmakers. I love them. Cheeselets are basically like a cheesy biscuit with cheese dust over them. They are delicious. They're like little crackers. And then the matchmakers are like a minty chocolate twig. They're really tasty and they're amazing. You can also get them in the orange variety, but I love the mint personally. And whenever I smell this, it just takes me back instantly to my childhood because I have had these since I was tiny and I love them. So definitely for me, Christmas treats and these two are my personal favourites for Christmas. So you've had your food, you're feeling all festive, you've got your jumper on. What would Christmas be without a good festive bubble bath? Lush do some amazing things around Christmas time. They're so festive, they smell amazing. Such spicy warm blends for Christmas. This is the Magic Wand Reusable Bubble Bar and I love this one because you can use it multiple times. It's blended with cinnamon and it just smells so warm and spicy. And then the other one I like is the Holly Go Lightly Bubble Bar and this one is absolutely gorgeous. This one smells quite clovey. It smells so Christmassy and when you put it in the bath it turns your water like a green holly green colour and it's beautiful so definitely for Christmas I do love my Lush bath products. Christmas would not be Christmas without some festive scented candles. 
I go crackers on scented candles around Christmas time because I feel like there are so many blends that are really suited for Christmas and just absolutely amazing. I have got here the Yankee Candle Christmas Cookie, which I get every single year. It's a very sweet, marzipan-esque kind of smell. It smells like Christmas baking and it is beautiful. And then the other one I've got is the M&S Mandarin Clove and Cinnamon one. Now, I have also got the Frankincense and Myrrh one as well, but this one I personally feel smells a little bit more festive because you can really smell the mandarin and the clove and I always associate mandarin with quite a Christmassy scent so I really like this one and I love the little decorative touch because it's like it got a little gold lid on it and it's got a stag's head on it which I really like so these two are personally my favourite ones for Christmas but honestly I think the shops really do go to town for Christmas for you know good scented candles whether that be Yankee Candle, M&S the White Company, there's just so many great ones on the market at the moment, but these two definitely have to be my favourites. We have them burning literally like throughout the house, so we have one in the hall, so when guests come into the house they can just smell the gorgeous Christmassy scents wafting throughout our house, and it's just lovely to walk into a really warm, comforting smell. I know when I come in from uni, my mum usually lights me a candle in my bedroom and she puts me a bath and I can just smell it when I come into my room and it's all cold outside and I come into my warm room and it's like... Mmm, Christmas oasis in my bedroom. I love it. Just love candles, love scented candles, and in particular, love Christmas ones. Continuing with the sensory scent related theme, I do also have a perfume that I usually like at Christmas, and it is the Jo Malone Lime, Basil, and Mandarin perfume. The reason why I associate this as quite a Christmassy scent is because of the lime and the mandarin, because it smells quite, quite punchy. It's got a bit of a kick to it, which I like for Christmas time, and I mean, you wouldn't have to just wear this at Christmas time, but for me personally, I usually get it out during the winter period because I just think it smells quite Christmassy, and I really like it. I've got the little miniature one that I got in a cracker that I had last year, and I just think this is the best one for Christmas. It smells absolutely amazing. You have to give it a smell if you've not tried it yet. For Christmas, I also start to change up my makeup routine a little bit. I don't do a lot to change it, but I do like to add a red lip and a little bit of glitter because I feel like red lips and glitter for Christmas is absolutely lovely and it's so festive and it just is really befitting. So the red lipstick I've been favouring at the moment is the Clinique Colourpop one and this is in the shade 07 Passion Pop and it's a rich cranberry kind of red. I personally love it because it suits my complexion as a redhead and these lipsticks are amazing, they're really good quality, they stay on the lips quite well, they've got a prime element to them as well but love this lipstick, I think it's great for Christmas time. And then the glitters that I like to wear are the Herm Decay Heavy Metal Glitters which are like uh, glitter liners and the two I've got here is the one in Glam Rock, which is a silver colour, and then there's a gold one, which is in the shade Midnight Cowboy. It's got gold and silver glitter for Christmas on the eye, it looks absolutely amazing, but they do lots of shades as well. They've got a pink one, which I've also got, and I've also got like pearlescent ones as well, but I just think that they're really super good. I usually put it on the waterline, just a little bit underneath the, on, like, on the waterline, because I think it, it makes your eyes pop a little bit more, and it just adds a little something to the eye. And then I've also got one of the Moonshine eyeshadows from Urban Decay that I like as well which is called Cosmic and this is more like a pearlescent colour for me I think it looks like freshly fallen snow and I think adding this with like a silver or a blue would look great I've actually got it on today on top of my current eyeshadow that I'm wearing which I think looks really awesome for Christmas as well so festive makeup gotta love a bit of glitter and a red lip for Christmas I also do like to wear quite whimsical cute things and I really do like my festive jewellery, and in particular brooches. I've got a few here I wanted to show you, which I personally feel quite Christmassy. These are little felt brooches. They're handmade, and they're from a lady called Ever Etherit, and I love her stuff. I've got so many of her brooches, and she hand makes them herself. So here I've got a little polar bear, which I love. I've also got a little penguin, who is looking up into the sky, and I've got a little rubbing my breast so I mean I just personally think that they're just really nice for Christmas because they're quite Christmassy associated animals like a polar bear, a penguin, a robin and I just absolutely love them and I just think they look great with like a red jumper or a cardigan or like a festive red coat or something I just think they look awesome so I do usually get these out at Christmas time and I love them absolutely love them 
Now Christmas is the time for TV and snuggling up on the sofa with your slanket and your cheese lips and your Collier Street, whatever you eat, and watching a few good Christmas films. My two personal favourites is Father Christmas and The Snowman, which are adaptations by Raymond Briggs, and I also love Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2. I just feel like these are cult classics. I mean, I watch Home Alone every single year without fail. I think it's one of those evergreen Christmas films that you can never get bored of and then Father Christmas and the Snowman just such comforting films and they really remind me of my childhood and I love the illustrations as well and I just think that they're amazing I've watched these ever since I was a child and I still love them just as much and I'm now 21 so Christmas films gotta love it I also do love to read a good book and just in general because I feel like Christmas is the time where you can relax and listen to new titles and stuff and I love Overdrive, the app that the RNIB do, which is basically an app if you've got sight loss or any other disability that affects your ability to be able to read print, you can use a service and it's basically a service that you can listen to audio books, you can download them and borrow them like a library service and I have been using this a lot recently because I'm kind of finishing with my first term at the moment so I've got a bit more time to read more books that I want now so I've really been enjoying that and just checking out new titles and browsing for new releases and stuff and reading old classics and adventure books and stuff like that and I just think that's Christmas is the sort of time to do that. I also do listen to a lot of Christmas music at this time of year as well. I really like listening to the album that Blake have released recently and it's a Christmas album which they've released and one of the songs they collaborated with Dame Shelley Bassey and I just love the album and I was actually lucky, lucky enough to meet both the band Blake and Dame Shelley Bassey at the R&B Gala which was absolutely awesome and I also really like listening to just Christmas carols as well on my iPhone and stuff and just old classic Christmas songs but in particular Christmas carols and if you want to know what my favourite Christmas carol is it is the Sussex Carol and it's like <laughs> sorry don't give up the day job that concludes my christmas essentials video today guys i really hope you enjoyed it and it's got you in the festive spirit because god knows i am so excited for it i'm looking forward to seeing my friends going out to have drinks and prosecco eating cheese from the cheese ball with my granddad getting fat you know, listening to Christmas carols, going out with my mum shopping and moaning about the fact that Christmas shopping is getting so busy, but I love it anyway. I just love Christmas. I love everything about it. So I'm so excited for it and I really hope that you are now as well. Do let me know in the comments as well what your favourite things about Christmas are and some of your Christmas essentials I'd really like to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe and also give me a little comment as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye and happy Christmases.